Probably for me, the coolest thing about an off-road rig is that every single one of them is different. You can take something and make it yours. It's like that sort of, you're marrying these two awesome worlds. You know, in the world of off-road, how it functions is primarily the first thing. It's gotta drive over the rocks. It's gotta climb the hill. It's gotta do everything that it's supposed to do. But at the same time, it can look cool when it does it. So you can do cool tube work. You can do cool body mods at the same time. It's that marriage of, of form and function that I think really makes a good off-road rig truly unique. And I think it's the best part about it. This truck is quickly becoming like the truck where I try everything that I've always wanted to do but have never done before. And it's not intentional, it's just kind of been how it's turned out. I've seen a hydraulic ram assist mounted to a pitman arm before on my buddy Mike's Jeep. And he says it works great. So that's what I'm gonna try. Um, the reason I wanna do it on this truck is because it just works out perfectly. I need to build a new pitman arm for the uh, steering system because the one I have is too long. Um, and that's because I'm mixing and matching components. I have the steering gear out of an XJ and the axles are out of a JK. So the stroke of the pitman arm doesn't match. So the first thing to do is I gotta figure that out just with some measurements, cycle the steering back and forth a bunch of times. And uh, then I can start cutting up the pitman arm and working with it. Now a lot of people think you can't weld uh, on something like a pitman arm because they think it's cast iron, but it's not. A pitman arm is like a differential housing. It's like pretty, a lot of the stuff on your rig, it's cast steel not cast iron. Um, so you can weld on it no problem. You just gotta know how to weld on it. Best thing to do, in my opinion, is to TIG weld it. If you TIG weld it, you can really pay attention to the puddle as you're working uh, on the piece, uh, and you can really make sure that it wets in. That's a fancy like welder word that basically means melted. So with the TIG welder, I can really focus the arc onto that pitman arm, and it's really thick, and I can make sure that it's good and melted before I start adding filler and then roll the molten puddle up onto the quarter inch plate that's gonna become that double shear uh, pitman arm for the heim joint. And then I can mount the ram. Um, I'm using a kit from PSC Steering. I use a lot of PSC Steering Hydro Assist kits. They've never let me down, they've always worked great and they let me mix and match like a package like this. So I've got like half JK stuff and half XJ stuff. So once the pitman arm is in place, I can just figure out how to mount the uh, actual steering ram. And I'm gonna use one through bolt all the way through both the pitman arm, uh, the drag link, and the ram assist ram. I was a little nervous that the inner frame rail was gonna be too thin for that pressure of the ram. And I didn't wanna just plate it because it's gonna have a lot of pressure from that ram. So I actually cut a hole in the frame and ran a tube all the way through and welded it to the stiffening plate on the outside of the frame rail. And that way it's all tied together as one. So it's gonna make it good and beefy and strong. Then it's just a matter of bolting up the ram and then just cycling the steering, uh, moving the box from lock to lock and making sure that the ram reaches its stops at the same point. And the ram's adjustable, it just takes a little bit extra time this way because you don't want that ram to be overextending and putting extra strain on the, uh, on the steering gear. One other thing that I'm a little bit nervous about on this truck is, is body roll. Uh, I've put off-road sway bars on a couple of my rigs, uh, but I know on this rig it definitely has to have it. The sway bar kits I got are from Pack Racing Springs. Now, Pack is known for decades uh, for building, obviously, springs, uh, for, and, and they also always built sway bars, but they're always like really, really high-end, like race car sway bars for circle track, NASCAR, stuff like that. Well, now they've taken all that technology that they learned from those sway bars and they offer basically an off-road bar. And uh, it's really cool because it's made in the USA and you have a lot of the features that the other bars have. You have a high spline count bar that you can order in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different lengths to fine tune it for your application. And you got a bunch of different arm choices as well. I went with their off the shelf uh, 15 inch steel arms because I knew that I was gonna have to modify them. Um, I had to basically cut them and weld them to fit around the bag mounts in both the back and the front. Ideally what you want is you want the arms to be level at ride height. 
So in this case, I'm gonna build it at full stuff and then I'll just set it at right height and then I'll adjust the links to match. And then once that's done, the axles can finally come out. And well, wait, no, the axles can't come out. I have one more thing to do where I still need to leave the axle in the truck. Just one more. And then the axles can finally come out.